Alright, ready? Easy peasy. Well, good morning from the ranch and the barn dominium build. Yesterday we got the high wall done, or I got the high wall done. It was a big job. Check out that video, I'll put a link above. Today we are gonna work on the beams. We are putting in beams to separate the ceiling section of the two loft spaces on both sides. Michaela's loft over there and our loft over here. Just more for a decorative kind of look. In between we're gonna put uh, corrugated metal ceiling, but then drywall on the loft spaces. So, in order to get those beams up there though, we're gonna have to use the Z-Pulley system. It's a rescue type system. It gives a three to one mechanical advantage to the people lifting. So we're gonna set up ropes and harnesses and pulley systems up there uh, to help lift that up. Now the other reason we gotta do that is because the beams are 16 feet long. This living space is roughly 16 feet long, but just a little shorter because of the wall width on both sides. So it's not gonna fit in here laying on the floor, so it's gonna have to be at an angle. So I need to angle it up so one rope pulley system on one side higher than the other side and then we'll have to like hoist it up kind of at an angle up and over the wall over there and then set it up on this post over here. So this is going to give a really cool post and beam construction type look um, and we'll stain those dark uh, having the white walls so it's going to look really really cool. So let's get started. So I'm gonna use this webbing. I gotta go in between, I gotta put a pulley for the beam's gonna come right in between here. So I need to set the pulley about here. So I'm gonna use this webbing. ideal pulley but it'll work. It's got a 450 pound load capacity. I believe something like that. I'm basically just stringing this pulley up. I could screw it in a 2x4 but I just I don't know feel safer with it hanging from a from this webbing. more times just to be safe So my load, which is the beam, is gonna be out down the ground down there. So my load is gonna come straight up into this pulley. Okay, that's just a single one-to-one. -one. I need to make this a three-to-one by adding a couple extra pulleys in here. So my second pulley, I need to put this rope through it before I attach it to the load. I just got this on some webbing and the carabiner. I'll attach down to the load also, so it adds this second pulley, first pulley, and now I'm gonna have another pulley I'll put on here and attach up there to change the direction back down where my belayer will be at, where my where the muscle's gonna be. Okay, so now I grab the other end of it and I'm just gonna put it through this pulley. And this I also got a carabiner on. So this is the side that's going to be pulled down. And it's going to go down to the load. So I'm going to go and attach this carabiner up top into that system up there. So this needs to go on this side because the beam is going to come up through there. Okay. 
uses excess webbing as a uh, secondary point. All right, I got the second, second uh, anchor point. I'm gonna use that. And again, we're not rescuing the person here, so I'm doing the best I can with what I have. Okay, so we got the two pulleys. Now let's go connect the load. Okay, on the load side, we just need to tie off a figure eight. It's got a nice clean figure eight knot. We're gonna test this on this paint bucket. Five gallon paint bucket. Okay, now I guess I could just For safety purposes, what we're gonna do is on the load line here, coming out of this side of the pulley, this goes straight down and connects to the load. Um, in order for this to, if uh, they slip when they're pulling up on the, the load and, and it slips, I want this to catch so that it doesn't drop. So I'm gonna use a Prusik sling to um, stop this and I'll show you. I'm just gonna wrap this around. I'm gonna go four times because this rope's a little slick. And what this does is this will grab friction based so it's a stop where let's clean this knot up. Let's try that. I think I got it. So then what we'll do is carabiner this up, clip it in. Like so. Okay so the way this prusik works is as they pull up the load, the rope is free to pass through that way, but as soon as they drop it, in case something happens, it catches, and the friction then stops the rope, and that way it won't fall all the way down. It's just an extra safety precaution. Test number two. Looks good. I think we're ready to go. So there's the two beams that Kristen stained last week. So we're good to go with those. I just need to move them. They're about, I don't know, 125 to 150 pounds each or so, roughly. So I'm gonna have to lift those up, carry them around, take them into the front door. Should be a little lighter. <laughs> it's gonna cut out. Cut out a little bit of it. I got the heavier end, it's a smaller notch. Okay, I think you're gonna have to swing out. I need to go in first. measure so it's straight on so about 25 and a half from 
the notch, 25 and a half. Got out. I go in as much as you can so it doesn't rip out when we start lifting. Screwing the eye hook in, and we're gonna clip the rope into. And hopefully, it holds. Yep, just hook, hook that in there. Well, it's just got that prusik up there holding it. There we go. You ready? Turn us up. Okay, so what I'd like to do is prepare you pull. Thanks, pull. Okay, now I got it. Kristen, now it's you. Okay. Okay, ready? You guys kind of pull at the same time, so it's kind of going up at this angle. Okay. Okay. Two, three. So much fun watching you guys work. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Look at that thing go. One, two, three. And I'm not even helping. One, two, three. One, two, three. Almost there, Michaela. All right, you're up top, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, hold it. Really close to the edge, so I need to... Okay, I'm gonna have to come out wide. All right, go ahead. Okay. Good job, good job, good job, good job. My uh, beam lifters down there. All right, well we got our beams up. One across Michaela's loft there, and then one across our loft back over here. Sorry for making you dizzy. It's pretty awesome. And that is because we are now gonna install the corrugated metal onto the ceiling in between those two beams. It's gonna look pretty cool. So we got drywall, on the loft side, corrugated metal in the middle here, and then drywall on the master loft side. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and until next time, keep living the dream.